How about it, Human Resources folks, the day that you never thought would come, the first day of the final week of the semester. This is the last of the reminders videos. Hope you've gotten some use out of them during the semester. Not a whole lot to cover in this time except a little bit of a recap of what you've accomplished already. Let me share my screen, pull up our PowerPoint, and let's get talking about what's happening. Week number 17, starting Sunday, May the 9th, going through Saturday, May the 15th, but really um, Friday, May the 14th is when we've got to have all our grades in for those of you who are graduating. Um, so you don't have the whole week, but you've got most of it. Finish up from last week. Make sure that you get your project submitted. It's due tonight probably as you're looking at this video, Sunday, May the 9th. Get in your project. Give me the link to that. Uh, the, uh, give me the links to all of the things that you've been working on. Secondly, consider completing your course evaluation. They close on Monday, May the 10th. I think the last time I checked, we had something like 15 out of 31, so almost 50%. I really want to get 100%. So if you haven't done yours yet, uh, you've got just a couple of days left. Please make sure that you get that done. What's new for this week in the Week 17 content folder? Just make sure you complete your final exam. There is, uh, if you pull up the assessments, you can get, you can then find the the instructions for final exam. You click on that final exam in the assessments and assignments, and there should be a video that you can watch that tells you what I want you to do. That's due by Wednesday night, May the 12th. I can grade those on the 13th and the 14th and get your grades in. If you're graduating, congratulations to you. Make sure that you show up on time. You probably even want to be a little bit earlier. I, early. I had thought that I was not going to make it to graduation because I had a wedding that day. Uh, turns out the wedding is this weekend, not wet next weekend. So as long as nothing else has popped up on the calendar, I am planning to be at graduation. I'll come by and shake your hand. If you're not graduating, celebrate the end of another class and the end of another semester. If you're uh, taking classes in the summer, you got a couple of weeks to rest up and rejuvenate and get ready to go strong in a shortened summer semester. Graduation, be here on time, not graduation, get a little rest and go hard during the summer. Beyond that, what have we done this semester? Well, I, st I, I tallied up what you've read. In terms of SHRM articles for development, uh, the development of HR, we had three articles for strategy of HR. We had six. Under generations, we had eight articles. Recruiting had five. Selection had six. Training had four. And appraisals had three articles. Then in week number eight, discipline, we had six articles. Under cultures, we had eight articles. Comp and benefits gave us four articles to read. Unions and labor gave us four articles to read. Legal and regulatory gave us six. Employee relations gave us four. And policies and procedures gave us four. And that means that if you read all those articles, you read 71 articles this semester, assuming that if we printed those out into to book format, that they might be three pages apiece over 200 pages of reading if you did all of that. But that's not all you read, was it? You read the articles, but then you had to engage in discussions and you had to read those discussion posts. So in terms of discussions, there were 165 posts on the development discussion board, 179 on strategy, 171 related to generations, 172 on both recruiting and selection, 154 on training, 176 on appraisals, 162 on discipline, 130 on cultures, 150 on comp and benefits. You had 152 total posts on unions, 156 on legal, 144 on employee relations, and 144 on policies. It was a pretty solid week every week, but as you glance at this, you see where really the first five or so had a lot more. Uh, you kind of learned how to do the discussion boards and you realized that if you posted a bunch of times, it was a lot more for everybody to read. So I think everybody kind of whittled it back a little bit toward the end of the semester and didn't post quite as often. That's not bad. How many of those uh, different discussion boards had posts. Uh, that's not the right way of phrasing that as I talk off, off the top of my head ad lib. How many total posts did you read this semester if you read every one of those things? If you're adding those up in your head, you're hopefully going to come to the total of 2,227 posts. So between 71 articles and, and well over 2,000 posts, you did a lot of reading this semester. But hopefully you've learned an awful lot about human resources. 
Uh, if you're in human resources, I, I hope that we did a good job of representing what you do to the rest of the class, and they value you more now than they did. If you're not in human resources, I hope you got a, a real good sense of what HR can do to help you as a manager to be a better manager. So I hope that there's been some value this semester. I hope that reflects a little bit in your course evaluations. I'll go back to that do this week. Make sure you get that course evaluation done. I don't care if you say that I'm absolutely horrible, that I, uh, that they ought to fire me immediately. Uh, I need feedback, even if it's bad. So take the time to do that, please. And uh, if you are graduating, maybe I'll see you. Uh, the day of graduation. If you're not graduating, I won't see you in the summer because I'm not teaching. Uh, well, I am teaching this class again, so there's nothing you can take uh, that, that, I, that I am teaching. Uh, that doesn't make sense at all. I don't think I have any master's classes in the in the in the. We're in the spring now, aren't we? In the fall. So maybe a year from now, you'll have an opportunity to take me again, depending on what they need. Anyway, that's it for now. That's week 17. We're wrapping it up. By the end of this week, you're done. And you get a, a few weeks to rest a little bit before you hit it hard again if you are not graduating. Uh, best to you. I've enjoyed the semester. I've enjoyed reading your posts, learning from you, uh, challenging you at times, uh, kind of getting my getting my case handed to me a couple of times when you had a better argument than I did. Uh, but it's been fun. It's been good, and I've enjoyed it. That's it for now. Have a great summer. Bye-bye.